All right, so I finally got here. I am actually in Florida right now, and this is what I wanna do. I wanna fish it. I like fishing Florida because you don't know what you're gonna catch. I'm fishing the surf, which is basically the ocean, and that's where I'm staying. I'm literally like five feet, so my condo is there, then this, the beach is literally right there, so I have to walk like 10 yards to get to the beach. So I got my, both my poles rigged up. I'm gonna be using shrimp, um, and we're gonna see what we can get. I know last year I came here, I caught nothing. So this year is like more of a motivation thing to say, hey, I didn't get something next year because last year I got skunked. So what I'm gonna do is pack all my stuff and I will see all of you guys at the beach. I'm gonna get a fish here. Feels like it's way too wavy out, but we can manage this. Kinda keep fishing this and see what we can get. The sun's going down too, so that should be good. I feel like we will get something today. It had to be a fish. It's gotta be a fish. Oh yeah, it is a fish. It's called a uh, little, um, what you wanna call it, a sea mullet. That is a fish. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Yeah, he fell off, but oh well, it's our first fish. Bring it in. Don't let it snap. Is it fighting? Nice, 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 nice. Don't, nice. nice. nope. yeah, it's a catfish. Uh, do you get my pliers in my bag? You can't yes. touch it. You don't want to touch it. It's a wrong cat. I haven't caught a wrong cat. Look how big that is, see that? I don't think you want to touch it because it's gonna, like. Okay, so it's actually the next morning. Um, I did catch one fish, it was a little sea mullet, and my cousin caught um, catfish. Um, those are two species that are already knocked off. I know there's a lot more species in the water where I'm surf fishing. Um, there's a snook, sheep's head, uh, drowned redfish. I'm saying those right. Um, and I did catch a lizard fish like two years ago. So I want to get more species of fish um, and see what I can do. We did catch two. I know it's a short video. I do apologize, but it just got dark so quick that we couldn't really film at night because it was so dark. Um, so I'm going to have like four to five more days here and I'm just going to keep going fishing and fishing all day and see what I can get. Hopefully run to something really big. Again, I am using not live shrimp, fake shrimp. So basically it's cut bait, just buy the shrimp at the bait shop and you freeze it. And when you're done fishing, like I said, you refreeze it and it stays on the hook really, really good. And smells really bad. So that should get a lot of the fish's attention. Um, Again, I'm here five more days. I do have two pools. I did bring my Guggen Squad rod. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to be using that. Probably not because it's salt water and what salt water does is ruin the reels. Um, I've been washing it out with fresh water every time I used it. So, I mean, if the reel, something happens to the reel, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just go buy a new one, but it does work good too, guys. So, I mean, you can, I would pick that rod and reel up.com if they still sell it. I know they came out with a bait caster, but that does work. There's a lot of people 
Every time I post something about that, they think it doesn't work. It's worthless. But again, you've seen all the bass I caught with it and you've seen the catfish and the little sea mold that we caught with it and it's ran through salt water. So it is a good reel in my opinion. So I will end on that note. Um, again, I'm gonna go all day for like four days straight, see what we can get. So that is about it for today's exciting episode of Hook and Bass 92. If you guys can do me a big, big favor, hit that like button and also to hit that subscribe button. And as always, catch big fish. Have a great day.